Hi, this is my bee shed. I own some land in Wisconsin, got a bear problem. So my friend Rob and his wife Colleen, who is also my very best friend, came up and built me the bee shed. It's kind of unique, so if you need a bee shed, call Rob. Um, it's very inexpensive. Haven't been in there yet today. So I'll take you on a tour inside, show you what it's like. Um, this is the inside. I have one, two, three, four, five, six hives. Um, it's kind of unique. I'm just going to shut the door here. Rob put in two windows. One is screened, one is open. Um, the ceiling, he left a little bit of a gap up there. You can't see it. And that's for ventilation. If you look up there, you can see light. It's also an escape route if the bees need to get out. As you can see, there are no bees inside the bee shed. Got my equipment. Um, got plenty of room for all my junk. I will show you the outside. Two doors. So far, no bears. Now this is the outside of the shed. This is a pond that Colleen put in. It's got a rain gutter, so the water is replenished when it rains. And this is the back of my bee shed. It's got little sliding doors so I can um, adjust the width. In the winter, I will put little mouse screens over. Bees are actually doing pretty darn good here. Rob raised the shed up off the ground. It's up oh, probably a good foot. So we have cross ventilation underneath. I think the coolest thing are these gutters, or this gutter, that collects the water into the pond. And um, so they've always got fresh water. If they don't, then I bring a five gallon can and refill it. Over here, I caught a swarm and they're sitting outside. I have to uh, get my son to help me move those inside some dark night. But this swarm was in this tree and shook it down into the hive and they are doing very well. I'm going to put a super on here and look at all these bees on the back side. I don't know what the heck they're doing out here on the back side. must be hot inside. Funny because the bees in the bee house are not doing that.